Hey, if you're wanting to watch a video of someone actually killing a turkey, the process of shooting that turkey, this is not the video. So this is a disclaimer for you. You're welcome to turn it off now. If anyone is interested in the journey of turkey hunting and the ups and downs and the uh, perseverance of turkey hunting, then this is the video for you. I do actually have a second battery while I was videoing the, the hunt. My battery died um, right in the middle of me filming it. I cannot believe it. Uh, but, hey, I'm grateful for the kill, and this video will show me after the fact with the bird explaining this, the setup and the hunt. But I believe that it, it was just another one of those things for me this year. Uh, it's been a, it was a great, long, difficult, amazing season. Um, but I just want to let you know that if you're wanting to watch me actually shoot the bird, you may want to go ahead and turn it off. Otherwise, please, please stay tuned. I'm grateful for you watching, and I'm really grateful for the opportunity to be able to uh, hunt. And this is really a lot of what that is. Uh, one last thing, I'd love to hear any of your stories about your season. Uh, I know for me it was a crazy one. Um, just as much as I hunted this year, I'd love to hear any of your stories, any challenges, any victories, um, any strange things that happened to you this year. I would love to hear it, and just to share along. But again, thanks guys for watching. Appreciate you guys sticking around with me. Uh, I'm not sure what happened, but I was trying to record this hunt. And I guess I just didn't hit the power button, but when I came to the camera to check all my film, the power was off. So I can only assume that the power died as I was doing it. But uh, I just want to say that, well, you know, it doesn't really matter. I think this bird's for me. This hunt was for me. Um, I, I tried to film it. Um, and I wanted to show and just talk about how hard of a season it's been for me. It's been a long season. Um, lots of jakes. No shootable toms. Get in front of a tom with my brother. When he's here from DC, he misses. Um, but it was, it was just a bad position. I can't really blame him for it. He couldn't quite see the bird, and I could, but it was just his shot, and he couldn't get it. So it wasn't his fault necessarily. And then last week, I had my daughter with me, and we walked down into uh, off a field about 25 feet into the woods and start making calls. And next thing you know, we hear a gobbler. We sit down. She's five years old. She's a perfect angel. She sits still. She's quiet. But I'm still worried she's going to spook the bird because she's not fully sure what's going on. Long story short, those birds moved in really fast. And I thought they were two toms. Uh, and I thought I was shooting a strutter in the woods. It was hard to see. I pulled the trigger, killed the bird. and turned out it was a hen. And so I was completely embarrassed. I don't know if any of you people have ever shot a hen before, but I haven't. <laughs> First time, it was horrible in front of my daughter no doubt like at insult to injury so I reported myself to the uh, TWRA which is the game wardens here in Tennessee and they were very gracious towards me um, I did get I did get written citation um, but I think it was the right thing to do and that was like three four days ago and um, it's been a long season I've hunted quite a bit and never gotten a chance and here I have this bird right here come in and I couldn't even film it, or I tried to, and it didn't work. So it's, I, I really feel like this bird was for me and not for everybody, but I want to just at least just give glory to God because it's been a long season of just being, pers you know, just persevering. And for a lot of you guys, you know, I hear the rule is 90% uh, of the guys kill 10% of the birds and 10% of the guys kill 90% of the birds, and I'm probably in the 9% of the guys. I kill about one time a year, um, and it's May 15th. You guys, two days, the season's over. So I, I really consider this bird a, a gift from God, a blessing. And this is, this is quite a hunt. It's um, 8.30, 5, and um, I set up in this field right here, and there was a couple of jakes down on the bottom, per usual in this field. I'll set up back over here. And around 7.30, 7.45, I've got to get going. I've got to get home. And so I, I decided to check the property out. I've only couple, hunted here a couple times. I go up in the woods make a few calls, just check the property out, don't hear anything. And I come back down into the edge of the, the, the field here and always glass before I come in. And sure enough, down in the bottom, 
this bird was sitting in the bottom. And I didn't know if he was a jake or not, um, but I have a tree line I'm set up on, so I crawl back in and get into my position, strike my collar, and he gobbles more over here. So I get myself in position, and I thought I started filming. I think my battery died. So that's a new battery I've got in now. All that to say is, is that I struck the collar one more time and he gobbled right over here. And so I knew he was coming, so I got set. I've got two decoys over here, and I've always debate on decoys. I don't, sometimes they work and sometimes they don't, but today it decided to work. This Tom came striding in, all fanned up. He was fanned. I had it on film. I thought it was gonna be all on film. And um, he was about 25, 30 yards out, and um, I was able to shoot him and kill him. And uh, he's a nice bird, nice fan. He's got really nice hooks. I'll check you out here. Nice size hooks right here. Probably a good inch long, nice and pointy, maybe inch and quarter. I'll measure him and see. He's got a nice beard. Nice beard. So he's a good two, two and a half year old. I don't know, two or three year old bird. I'm not able to tell too well. Probably two to three years old. And uh, I'll tell you what, I can't, I can't say enough. This is a, a gift from God for me. Just persevering. Um, I've shown a lot of hunts this season because I enjoy doing it with nothing. I got a bird with my buddy Ryan. But this one's mine. I didn't even get a chance to film it. I tried to, and it's just obviously supposed to be for me only. But I just want to show it to you because I'm excited. I'm grateful. I had a, a hen, and I'll show it to you. I have a hen and a jake. And the ground is so hard, I can't even get the decoys in the ground. Look at them. They're barely sitting up. But it was enough to, I guess, bring the bird in. And uh, But the ground is so hard here. This is a farm that probably hasn't been farmed in forever. I just use it for hay. And so, anyway, I'm just grateful that I got an opportunity to kill this bird. It was a late mid-morning bird, about 8.30, 9 o'clock. And um, I'm just really grateful for it.